Hey crypto natives, you have a unique opportunity right now to learn the skills that will get you salaries over five figures in the Web3 space. In this video, I'm going to share with you a platform that actually teaches you how to build your first blockchain application and you can also earn 100 USD by doing so. So don't miss out and keep watching till the end to find out just how. I'll be the first to admit, the blockchain and crypto space is actually very confusing. You will hear about people who earn millions from doing trading or investing in blockchain and cryptocurrencies, but then you also know that projects fail and people lose millions as well. There are also large investment firms that continuously invest into the blockchain space, for example, A16Z. And then you can also see lots of blockchain jobs that give you salaries of $100,000 per year and more. And let's not forget there are lots of Web2 or mainstream companies who are also jumping into the blockchain space and we know this because they also have job postings in the Web3 space, for example, Google and Amazon. To get started, use the link in the description and sign up for an account with Dacade. Then you scroll down to Seller Community and you click Get Started. There are two courses and we are going to start with the Seller Development 101. So just click Start now and as you can see, you're getting 100 CUSD if you complete it. You will learn three things. What is Salo? Smart contract development, as well as building the front end. In the what is Salo section, there's a video that describes Salo's mission and it's actually a really nice video, like very touching for a blockchain company. There's an introduction to Salo. So read these two articles and then proceed to the other section. So this is where the development work starts and this is in the smart contract development section. So in this section, you will learn how to use a programming language that is very popular for smart contract development called Solidity. So if you look at job descriptions, you'll see a lot of them asking for Solidity. So before you start learning Solidity, they are going to show you how to use a development environment, which is where you write the code, where you run, test the code, and also deploy it to the blockchain. And that is called Remix. For example, they're saying you're going to build the following smart contract in this chapter. So if we open the link, that should most likely open up the code to the smart contract. So, you know, it's about 89 lines of code, but it's really not that intimidating once you go through the course and you see what's required. All right, so to start using Remix, you'd need to go something called remix.ethereum.org. And as you can see, it is a web-based application, so there's nothing for you to install, which is really nice, at least right now. And you just need to follow the instructions here and they show you how to start getting, how to get started with setting up your free Solidity file. So they're telling you, for example, you have to specify the version of Solidity that you're going to use for programming. And then here you're going to specify some lines of code and you have a variable called product. And you know, it starts becoming more real for you. And this is what Remix looks like, by the way. Okay, I've opened it for the first time on this particular browser. So they're taking me through all the steps, which is cute, you know, and they have some example contracts on here as well. So this is where you write your code, for example. Right, so you just continue with this and, you know, they're teaching you multiple things about the Solidity programming language. So they're teaching you how to read, how to create read functions and write functions. They're also teaching you how to save multiple products in a data structure within the code so that you can access, for example, a list of products and maybe their prices showing you how to do transactions, which is, you know, a lot of what you do on the blockchain, send transactions, and how to deploy your contract to the blockchain. Now, this step is the most important. When I say the most important, it's like a big step, like give yourself a clap by the time you've done this, because you now have code that's running on a blockchain, and that is something that anyone can interact with from anywhere around the world, as long as they have an internet connection. So yeah, and remember, it'll be deployed to the Celo blockchain. So you'll have to use a Celo wallet, for example, or you can also use your MetaMask wallet and just add the Celo network. But all in all, it's an Ethereum compatible blockchain, which means you can deploy this code to other blockchains as well. So a very nice learning that you can do by the end of this course is to take the same code that you have written and deploy it to another Ethereum compatible blockchain, such as Polygon. So once you've completed the smart contract development, you can now start building the front end of the application. The front end of the application is not necessarily blockchain specific code you know you're using technologies that people use to build other web pages but you are going to communicate with a smart contract that you built before but you're just going to have something pretty so that everyday users can interact with it and you're going to have a web page that's hosted on the internet so you're going to use HTML, you're going to use JavaScript. So you'll use the HTML to just create the structure of the application. And here they give you an example of the code. So all the code that's required, they're giving you the actual code so you can actually understand what's happening and run it yourself. And then as well, you will start doing the JavaScript. Let me scroll down to the JavaScript build. Very cool. So then you'll create the JavaScript and this section will allow you to communicate with the smart contract that you had built earlier. So for example, you can do things like read data from the blockchain. You can read your seller balance, understand 
for the wallet that's connected to this application, how much Salog tokens do they have in their wallet? And in this tutorial, you'll also learn how you can pay for something on the blockchain. So you create an application where here they have a list of products. As you can see in this little GIF here, there's a list of products and you can actually buy one of the items using your tokens on the blockchain. Now this is using the test net, meaning it's not going to be real tokens, but you can easily deploy this on the mainnet and create a similar application. Once you've created the front end, you can then host the application on something called GitHub Pages, which just allows you to easily deploy a web page to the internet. Once you've finished with the code for building the front end, you'd like to host that web page somewhere. They're using something called GitHub Pages, which is a really neat way to just host the web page really quickly on the internet so anyone can use it. So hooray, you've completed the course. You would have learned Solidity, JavaScript, HTML, as well as Remix. So now finally, what you would need to do is do the challenge. And the challenge is simply an opportunity for you to extend the code that you have used before. So by extending the code, you get to insert your own creativity and also test yourself to see if you truly understand the concepts. So they would like you to create an application of your own just using the skeleton that you have from before. And there is a rating rubric which has multiple points allocated to you know various levels of creativity and how well your code works. So ensure you know try to get the most points as possible because you do have to get 14 out of 20 points in order to complete the challenge. So once you've done that, you can submit. And another cool way to make more money is by reviewing submissions of others. So when you give feedback to other submissions, you can also earn 32 USD worth of, worth of the seller stable going. So definitely get started on this as soon as possible. I mean, these kind of opportunities are very unique. It's unique in the sense that people normally pay to learn something new. They pay to learn programming or pay to learn trading. Right now you have an opportunity to not only take a course for free, but also be paid to learn. I think in the blockchain space, they do budget a lot for blockchain education because it is quite new, but budgets don't last forever. So I highly recommend you take this course as soon as possible. Use the link in the description to sign up and comment in the video letting me know if you get stuck and if you think I should create a video going through the course as well, maybe even explaining things a bit more if you think that's necessary. To earn the reward of 100 USD by completing the course, you would have to demonstrate the learning by creating your very own DAP. So once you have completed the course, you have an opportunity to earn 100 USD worth of the seller stablecoin. To get this reward, you will have to demonstrate your learning by creating your very own decentralized application using the concepts that you learned before. And I'm so glad they actually incentivize this bit because this is where the actual learning occurs when you actually create an application which is based on your idea and you try to build it from scratch. And one thing I also love is the encouragement of community. So the way how the DACA platform works is when you submit your actual project, you have other people within the community reviewing that project and giving you, you know, bits of tips and advice for how you can make your code better. Now, if you decide to give feedback about other people's projects as well, you have an opportunity to earn another 32 USD worth of the seller stablecoin. So you can continuously contribute to the community and also earn by doing so. And I'm sure this will also improve your learning because you're looking at code from others. To continue your learning in the Web3 space, make sure you're subscribed to channels like mine, create large projects as well. So think of other ideas or other problems that you would like to solve for yourself and actually sit down and code it. There are also things where you can do bounties and challenges on websites like gitcoin.co. And of course, there are lots of jobs, there are lots of companies who are looking for interns and people who are just getting started. And you can actually get a full stack developer role or a smart contract developer role. So pay attention to the job postings on various websites. So I am very much looking forward to hearing about how many of you actually try this and what applications you build. And if you do build something, then actually comment it down below and I can give you some feedback as well. I will also go through the course, potentially create a video about that. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.